Hello and welcome. I'm Robin Kerno. I am an anchor and correspondent at CNN. I'm also made by dyslexia and I'm delighted to introduce uh, Kate Griggs. She's the founder and CEO of the global charity Made by Dyslexia. And Kate, hi, I know you've got some exciting news to launch, but I also want to get a little bit of background first. Hi, Robin. Um, yes, well, Made by Dyslexia is a global charity and our mission is to help the world properly understand, value and support dyslexia. And we're doing that in two ways. Firstly, we uh, have a goal to redefine dyslexia, to help the world understand the strengths and the huge value that dyslexic thinking has in the future. And the second way we're doing that is to empower teachers to be able to spot, support and empower every single dyslexic student in the class. So in partnership with Microsoft, we launched Connect the Spots, which is a global campaign aiming to get every single teacher in the world trained in dyslexia awareness using our free online dyslexia training course. And we are also today going to be announcing a new course uh, that we're very, very excited to be launching. So Kate, let's then have a closer look at Connect the Spots. People with dyslexia are naturally bright, creative and imaginative. Their thinking can inspire and amaze us, and their skills are vital for the jobs of the future. But over 80% of children with dyslexia never get spotted at school. Because of this, they can sometimes struggle, as if something about school and them doesn't quite fit. For example, while people with dyslexia are brilliant at big picture creative thinking, they often feel uncomfortable being put on the spot and asked to remember facts and spellings. It's a much more common issue than many people think, because as many as one in five children are dyslexic. Made by Dyslexia's free, simple video training can help you recognise dyslexia and create an environment where all children can thrive. Experts and specialist teachers will explain how to spot dyslexic strengths and challenges, plan lessons that benefit all children, offer support that builds resilience and transform the attainment of dyslexic children. This free online training takes just two hours, but it's vital for all teachers. The videos are full of helpful, easy to implement ideas, like giving all children access to assistive tech like computers, so dyslexics can express their great ideas without feeling singled out, and getting kids to solve problems together in small groups. Color coding lessons also helps as does multi-sensory learning, using all senses to explore a problem, as well as just reading and writing about it. These small things add up to a big difference, to educational outcomes, to self-esteem, and to millions of young people's life chances. Dyslexics are ready for the workplace of tomorrow, if we can reshape the way we teach them today. Such an important message, such an important mission, and a subject that's very close to my heart. My daughter is dyslexic. I also live here in Atlanta, uh, and it is with great delight that I find that the city is at the forefront of supporting the Made by Dyslexia mission. Take a look. Hello, I'm Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, and I'm proud that Atlanta is a diverse and creative city that values the power of thinking differently. By thinking differently and nurturing those who do, we can transform the world around us. Dyslexia is a subject that is close to my heart as well as the hearts of so many others. Dyslexic minds are behind some of the most innovative and impactful creations in history. According to the global consultancy Ernst & Young and the World Economic Forum, the skills we need for the future closely match the skills that dyslexics have, creative thinking, complex pro problem solving, and more. That's why I'm proud to support the work of the global charity Made by Dyslexia, who in partnership with Microsoft are making it their mission to train every teacher across the world with free online training to help them spot, support, and empower dyslexic thinking. As their Connect the Spots campaign highlighted, one in five children are dyslexic, but up to 80% of them leave school having never been identified. If we can give our teachers the training to spot dyslexic students, 
We will change outcomes for millions of children across the world, including right here in Atlanta. Atlanta is proud to help in leading the way to transform the outcomes of dyslexic children from all walks of life. This dyslexia awareness training has been filmed right here in Atlanta with the legendary Skank School, a school that I am personally very familiar with. This is the first school in the United States to support dyslexia. Since the launch, schools around the world from Abu Dhabi to Kosovo and London to New York have trained teachers using this method. All teachers at Morningside Elementary School and Thomasville Heights Elementary School in Atlanta have also received the training. Teachers are using the training to spot, support, and empower the one in five dyslexic kids in their own classrooms. And now they are passing on what they have learned to schools around the world by being featured in the new training developed by Made by Dyslexia, which we are announcing today. The new course, Dyslexic Teaching, will give teachers a more in-depth understanding of dyslexia and show them how to help struggling learners catch up, skills all teachers need to have, especially in this post-COVID world. It's my hope that schools across the world will join in training all their teachers so that we can empower every child and show that no matter who you are or where you come from, you can use your dyslexic strengths to dream big because when you do, anything is possible. I look forward to working with Made by Dyslexia, Microsoft and Atlanta's educators to transform the outcomes for dyslexic children everywhere. Thank you. Thanks so much to the mayor there. She's certainly been a leader here in Atlanta, uh, and we really appreciate her giving us uh, that message. So with this exciting news of this new dyslexia teaching series, I want to bring in Barbara Holterfield, the vice president of education at Microsoft, and Josh Clark, who's the head of the Skank School here in Atlanta. Thank you very much to both of you. Of course, Kate remains with us. Uh, Barbara, why is dyslexia uh, such an important aspect of the work that you're doing there at Microsoft? And why have you chosen to partner up with Made by Dyslexia? Yeah, thank you so much for having me on this. Um, this strikes to the core of our mission in education to empower every student on the planet to achieve more. So we share that deep passion to empower teachers and parents to understand dyslexia and create dyslexia inclusive learning experience with the help of technology. So we know that technology can be a really supportive factor in providing and developing inclusive classrooms and personalize the learning for every student. So for example, we have a free learning tool called called Immersive Reader, and that was originally inspired by focusing on students with dyslexia, um, and uh, that's now being used by 23 million people every month in uh, using the Immersive Reader to improve the reading and writing comprehension in over 40 languages. Um, we've also made sure that the Immersive Reader is um, woven through a number of different learning experiences that we provide, such as Minecraft Education Edition, Flipgrid Office, so that we take every opportunity to personalize learning across these different learning platforms and experiences. And so what's really important for us in this context is that dyslexic minds see the world differently and process information differently in creative lateral ways. And those are such critical skills for creative problem solving. And that's also why it's important for us to move the conversation and how technology supports learning from a you know to a conversation that is about learners of all abilities and use also technology to remove any stigma in different abilities that students have so that's why this is so important for us to really um, be true to our mission in education to empower every student on the planet to achieve more and be very inclusive of all learning abilities. Now, why did we partner with Made by Dyslexia? Um, we're proud to be the very first company to sign the Made by Dyslexia pledge, uh, which is the promise that includes valuing and recognizing dyslexia as a different way of thinking and giving those with dyslexia access to technology that really empowers them to excel academically and in life more broadly. Uh, and to really give them the opportunity to unleash that learning and the spark that you see in students' eyes when they've unlocked a new piece of learning. And we love the vision um, that uh, the team at Made That by Dyslexia has laid out, the growth mindset around redefining 
dyslexia as a brilliant way of thinking and uh, supporting the teachers and the educators in building that uh, capacity in, in students. So together with Made by Dyslexia, we've developed some free training materials through our Microsoft Educator Center to help raise awareness and provide evidence-based approaches and introduce technology that can make a huge difference, uh, such as the Immersive Reader and other free learning tools. So it's been a fantastic journey um, together with the Made by Dyslexia team. Yeah, it really is. Uh, you guys certainly are breaking uh, so many boundaries. Um, Josh, to you also, uh, one in five kids, uh, or adults, I suppose, or one in five people um, probably have dyslexia, which means this is not about just the kids who are at Skank, but every school teacher has probably got more than one dyslexic kid in their class. So this is about all teachers knowing how to teach to dyslexics because, wow, they're going to be encountering them every year and in every classroom. So how important are these teachers areas for you? Yeah, so you're right, Robin, that we're talking at least 20% of our student population is believed to be dyslexic. And so many times I'll talk to teachers and educators and they're excited about this work and they think it's wonderful, but it'll lead to, well, but you know, I don't teach dyslexic kids or I teach math and therefore or I only do science. And one of the things that Made by Dyslexia has given us a platform to help people understand is that educators, we are all responsible. We all have an obligation to understand how the dyslexic mind works because whether we recognize it or not, whether we're fully aware of it or not, we are all working with supporting and helping dyslexic learners, whether or not they've had the opportunity to have the diagnosis or the testing or so on and so forth. And we also know that while dyslexia is very much present and, and represents itself in reading, writing, and spelling, it's a different way of organizing information in the brain. So it doesn't stop when we leave language arts class, or it's not limited to just when students are writing a paper. Everything from physical education to mathematics to social studies, everything about that child, their way their brain works is part of who they are. And it's so important for all educators to understand the difficulties that might be associated with that, but also the strengths and opportunities when we recognize it and give students what they need to contribute more fully to, to their classrooms, to their, to their friends, and, and really to their entire future. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it's so inspirational. And how do you think, and what role do you see about these, these teaching courses in terms of catching up or helping to mop up and rescue those kids who perhaps weren't caught earlier on? Sure. And so, you know, we're in a really unique time right now where we know, again, upwards of 20% of the population is dyslexic. We know the vast majority of those kids are not being identified and receiving specialized support. But we're also living in a world where we can make the assumption that a, a significant majority of our students have had at, at a minimum an interrupted educational experience over the last year and a half. So this training is actually coming at an ideal time because the, this information that we're sharing that Made by Dyslexia is putting out into the world, while it is ideal for a dyslexic learner, it works for all students. It's not about giving some students what they need while others don't receive it or creating a specialized program for that 20%. It's about taking the information that we know about how the brain develops into a reader and providing it for all students. And again, in the post-pandemic world, that's even more important because some of the assumptions we could have made about students' background knowledge or the, the instruction that they've had leading into our classrooms uh, in this current year and the next year is very, very different. So it's essential that all educators have this, this foundational information about how we develop readers and writers and thinkers in all settings. Thanks, Josh. And Barbara, to you, just listening to Josh there talk about a post-pandemic learning experience. What are, what are the hopes that you have for the future? As we, as we look forward, and we all know education has changed forever, we hope to continue uh, on the great work with together with the Made by Dyslexia team to help educators globally understand, value, and support dyslexia and dyslexic students through the free training that we provide. And we'll look forward to continuing on that path. 
One of the things that we've learned through a global survey that we did in December was that while 2020 was certainly disruptive and brought with it a high amount of uncertainty and stress, students also valued a greater autonomy over their learning and the pace and the tools that they were able to use. And in a sense that learning has become untethered from some of the traditional restraints, giving students more agency in their learning. So we hope that the lessons that we've learned from 2020 take education forward and bring technology and pedagogy together for personalized and inclusive learning experiences. So we're excited to continue our support for education systems, schools and teachers, and to take the lessons learned forward and to create together a future where learning is really student-centered, skills-focused, socially embedded, and provides security and scalability so that we can reach as many students and very importantly, dyslexic students around the world. Yeah, you make a really important point there, uh, Barbara. Uh, and Kate, to you as you listen, um, what, what are your thoughts and what are your hopes as we, we look at trying to sort of chart the, the, this new territory after the pandemic? We know that uh, dyslexic children have exactly the skills we need for the future. And the need for those skills are brought forward by the fact that the pandemic has changed things and technology is now playing a much bigger role in our lives. So the one thing I would, would really love to, to get across and what I hope for the future is that every single teacher takes the training to support the children with dyslexia in their class because there are one in five kids in every class around the world who have exactly the thinking skills we need for the future. And it's really, really important that we remember that we support them and empower them, but also know that what works for dyslexic children helps absolutely all children. Excellent point there. Barbara, Kate, Josh, wonderful to see you all. Thank you also for all the hard work that you, you've all done. Um, I'm going to leave us all now with a teaser from the teachers. <laughs> when something works, it works. And you want people to, to find that joy that you now have because you're like, I, I want you to know that, yes, your child may be diagnosed with dyslexia. However, there are phenomenal training available to parents and teachers alike. Hey, Apple. That to me was the biggest aha moment that perhaps I could be that catalyst for a child that looks at letters or looks at words and feels completely intimidated, scared, lost, and defeated and show them that no, this is something you can do. I could be that teacher that helps the children in my class achieve their dreams and show them that dyslexia is not holding them back and actually it's something that can be celebrated. The skills of the future are the skills that they by nature have and so those creative problem solving resilient people if you can remove the barriers then they can thrive and really succeed anything you need to do to support as a dyslexic child is great teaching practice for all children. Multisensory education is important for all students. That means that we're giving every child a different way to absorb whatever instruction I'm providing them with. And by multisensory, what we mean is that we want to engage all the different senses or the way in which the brain learns and processes information. We know that what's good for students who are identified as dyslexic, it also works for students who are not. And if you go into our classrooms, you'll see kids tapping, you'll see kids counting sounds, you'll uh, see them like sound stretching. And this is in kindergarten, first grade, second grade. It's really great because our students now have tools and they have strategies. If one of our goals in education is helping children develop independence and resilience, not just for the next step of their education, but for the skills they will need in life and in the job market afterwards, then by use of the tools within Office 365, and especially the immersive reader and learning tools, help them to build those skills, not just to survive education, but to thrive and use those special powers that they have to succeed in the job market and in life after education. Next word, chalk. My awareness with dyslexia has just changed my style of teaching. I remember working with students who really were having trouble reading. I, I just didn't have the skills in order to really help them. 
Now I'm able to give them the interventions that they need. It has been really helping me on my reading because since I'm dyslexic, that really just like makes your reading battle. Yeah, for sure. No one suffers when we build classrooms to support dyslexic learners. In fact, everyone is only made better because of it.